So hi friends, welcome to this video. In this video, we're going to talk about how we can set up Firebase and Flutter for your Android project. So first of all, what we are going to do is go to our desktop, right click, open a terminal and then run this command. With this command, we will be creating our Flutter project. So you can name it anything. Just remember, it should be short and simple. After creating it, let's do run this command and then code dot to open VS code in this folder. As an alternative, you can also just close this, click on this, right click, show more options, open with VS Code. So with this, you have your Flutter project open in VS Code. So the next step will be to open a terminal and then run this command to install some packages. Now let's move on to the next step to open your Google Chrome or any browser that you want. Search for Firebase.Google. Dot com then sign up create an account create a new account for your firebase and then click on go to console after successfully setting up everything you'll get a page something like this where you can see multiple projects of yours so what you need to do create a new project then you can name anything for example temp pro then just click on continue account default account then after this process, your Firebase project will be created. After this, you need to click on continue. Then the first thing that you need to do is click on Android. This name will be really important. So make sure com.example. and the name of your project, which you kept here. So my project name is temp underscore pro. So I need to type in the same thing, temp underscore pro. Now click on register. Then you need to click on download Google this JSON file. Once downloaded, you need to go back to your downloads. Then cut this from here and you need to paste this inside this Android app here. You need to paste that Google slash services dot JSON file here. After this, click on next. So after copy pasting that file, what you need to do is click on this. Then you'll get something like this. Copy this thing. Now go to Android, then settings dot gradle and paste it here. The next step will be to copy the second line com.google.gms then go to android build.gradle paste it here after that just change this min sdk version to 23 with the steps you are done with the setup click on next and then continue to console after that what you need to do is click on this android folder app source main and then open this file android manifest.xml then copy this line and paste it here. This line is important so that our Android application can access internet in the Android device. After that, what you need to do is click on your lib folder, right click on your lib folder, then create a new file, firebase underscore service dot dart. Once you create the file, you need to copy this code and paste it. So this is a simple code in which I'm trying to add a new user in our firebase fire store. Then what you need to do, open your main dot dart file, then copy and paste this code and make sure you import this thing and change your main functions to async. After this, what you need to do is copy and paste this line into this increment counter function. So now what is happening is that this is the default template code. And then we are using our Firebase service class. This is a simple class in which uh, there is a simple function in which we are trying to add a user into this collection count. Now, in order to insert data, what we need to do in our Firebase is click on this, then Firebase database, wait until it's loaded. Once you get this option, click on create database and click on next. And then you need to choose the second option, start in test mode. After you get this interface, what you need to do is create a new collection. I'm naming the collection as count. Then I'm storing a name. Okay, so we have our database with us. What you need to do is run this app and this will work. We are using our Firebase service class. We have this thing here. We are getting the instant of our Firebase service class and then calling the function. Let's run this project in our Android device and check. So now the next step will be to run this code. So I've connected my Android device with my laptop and you, as you can see, the name is RMX3830. Now what you need to do is uh, click on this debug. Make sure Android device is connected to the internet. Now after this, you'll get something, get a message something like this. What you need to do is click on the plus icon on your Android device and you'll get output something like this. Go to your fire show, refresh the page.
Now, as you can see, there's a new entry in our database for name Leo. As we are doing it in the Firebase service class. So if you get any error in this setup, you can comment on this video and I'll definitely create a video and try to solve that error. And thank you so much for watching this video. Have a nice day.